Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast. Strap yourselves in for one hour of unrivaled audio entertainment. Featuring Hopcat. I can't stop playing RuneScape and it might be ruining my life. Little Z. I got back from a music festival last night. Pop it one. Maths is crazy. <laughs> and Director Cogger. This is one of our best intros. Two taker, twice as good. Yeah, so we tried to do the intro already and then Zach was like, I had something really good to say. Let me start again. And then he forgot it again. No, no, no. I knew I didn't have anything good to say this time. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Underdogs Podcast, guys, with Unrivaled Audio Entertainment. When are we replacing the intro to stop doing this bit? I think we might have run out of things to say. No, it's so good. It's so interesting. <laughs> I know. Are you just joking? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny to go on all the tangents, but also, was it last week or two weeks ago, you mentioned that you were playing RuneScape and you're like, you're kind of done now, is yeah, what you said, like yeah, two weeks ago. I have not stopped. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It's I, it's I when my video comes out, I'll explain it in full. But holy shit, the game is so boring. But you just can't stop. You're doing a RuneScape video? Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's crazy. So wait, you, you finished the video and now you're just RuneScaping. Uh, I've mostly finished the script. I haven't completely finished yet. But it's man, it is. Uh, it's something. To me, you would never play RuneScape. It's not in your. Well, am I too character. cool or something? Yeah, it's like you wouldn't not just that, click something else. No, nah, I feel like Peter's not a clicker. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of clicking. Yeah. What do you mean? Like Peter. I'm a gamer, not a clicker. Yeah, he doesn't What's look the like difference? the kind of guy who just clicks. Do I? Yeah. Yeah, you click. You click. You play The Sims, dude. You, you click. click. You probably time. click the most. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> is it an insult or a compliment? It's because it's, it's an insanely chill game. Yeah. Yeah, it is chill. There's and no, I am, like, in the moment I am decisions. I pretty pretty big fan of, like, big stimulus in terms of games. Sure. You know, like, pop and gameplay. Oh, I see. Like, Animal Crossing is a clicking game. Yeah, I yes. hate that shit. Mm. I want to hear why, why I want to hear why it's ruining your life, please. Oh, I, I just, like, I'm just... Because the problem <laughs> is, Maybe, right, like, a PSA for other people that have runescaped. It's so chill. Much. It's so chill that you can do it while you're doing other things, which is a terrible trap because it's just like, oh, I'll just, uh, you know, level my cooking while I write this script. And it's just on the <laughs> second monitor. Your <laughs> person is just fucking cooking some fish, like, all the time. And you're like... Yep, I could be doing this. Yeah, Bro, you could level up your cooking in RuneScape and real life at the same time. And then the here, oh. here's the worst part, right? You can now get it on your phone. Oh, oh. And so it's everywhere. First thing I know, I'm like, oh, I'll check this out to see your review. Next thing you know, I'm in bed training agility. You know, while watching TV, I'm like, what happened <laughs> Wait, to me? Are you what? playing right now? Wait, so oh, you, actually, yeah, I should be playing right now. That's a good point. Right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me see where I can level up right Saying now. Saying that you're no, in bed yeah, yeah. training <laughs> agility. I know. I'm just like, what happened to me? I do. It's ruining my life. See, I get you look, I'm that. ruined. You guys, yeah. you guys hate me. <laughs> no, I'm more just, it was just yeah, funny. Yeah, it's a sex joke. Innuendo. He doesn't yeah. know sex jokes anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't get laid. Yeah. 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 I don't get laid, bro. I'm, I'm fishing, bro. I'm yeah. clicking that, on the fishing that's spot. That's important, though. So, uh, yeah, don't do not do it, guys. It ain't worth it. Don't that's where the name Papa One comes from. Good old RuneScape. <laughs> oh. I love how you're like, don't do it, guys. Not worth it. Anyway, too late for me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There's no way out. It's like, well, I got to get 99 soon, so you know how it is. It's like heroin. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, All you right. can say everyone don't do it, but I've, I've, I've done it now. Yeah, who would you trust, a heroin addict or someone who's never tried it if they say don't do heroin? Yeah. Yeah, so I trust you. Yeah. I won't play. This is why I don't play League, actually, because every time someone mentions League, they say don't. Do don't people do like it. League? Yeah, All I, I see I is this. like, yeah. oh, got back into League. It's ruining my life. It's so toxic That's what I mean. That's shit. why I never started it. But people do that with Smash Bros as well. Yeah, people do that. And I kind of do that with Overwatch to some degree, but I still enjoy it. We can't escape. Yeah, playing Heroin computer games or is video such games. A, it's a little, what's it called? A window of lost opportunity. Ooh, no, but I geez. used to, no, Ooh. that's deep. But I used to love playing XCOM and then listening to podcasts. And I feel like that was what's good. What's XCOM? It's like a s- strategy game where you kill aliens. Ooh, turn-based strategy. Oh. It's, it's, it's like um, Mario and Rabbids, actually. Yes. And that's based on XCOM almost. Yes. Sick. The it's gameplay. I fun. love games like that. Because then you can chill and listen to a podcast. And so I felt like that was good. Good use of video games. You could chill and listen to us. I wouldn't have listened to pods before. Yeah. Do you listen to our pod? No. no. Well, live. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he was there. You know, he didn't really have to. 
Um, Jackson, I, I heard on the grapevine that you streamed. Sure this did, mate. Ooh. I actually didn't know this till you guys mentioned it before yeah. we started this morning. Yeah, Peter came over on what day was that? Oh, I can't remember. It was a few days Wait, ago. Peter was in the stream. No, no I came no. over and helped him set it up because holy moly, oh. there's a lot of settings in like uh, Streamlabs or OBS or whatever you use. There's a shitload of stuff to set up. Yeah. So Daddy came over and explained it to me. And <laughs> did everything go, to go to plan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, to be honest, yeah. Give, um, us the, give us the start to finish. I want to hear what... What, hour by hour? No, <laughs> I went for... Yeah, yeah. I went minute for by minute, actually. Two Jackson, hours. the fact that it went over one hour has already intrigued me. Yeah, two hours of streaming. Well I done. I did not think I was going to enjoy it as much as I kind of did. But um, I didn't really play any games, so it was a bit of me just like popping around, doing a bit of this, bit of that. Popping what around. That, what does that mean? Popping, like, popping, popping around, around is like going to the shops yeah, or something. Yeah, a bit of popping around. I'm going to need a better audio description on the podcast. Okay, please. hold on, hold on. <laughs> it was just me popping doing around. a bit. Yeah, like, what did you do for two hours? Were you just like coming out of the frame into the camera? Hello! Yeah, just popping around. <laughs> Here we no, are again. <laughs> Jackson just streams to babies. Only. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually an untapped market, streaming for babies. Maybe no, I'll do have that. you not seen Coco Melon? I know, but like IRL streams. streaming. Yeah, true. I was, like I say, yeah. popping around, doing a few games. What is popping around? Just you clicking can't... around, seeing what was going on. on the screen. Oh, like, so you had your screen up? Yeah, so I did a bit of, did a bit of chess. That's bit nice. Of, oh, okay. Pokemon chess? Bit of Pokemon cards. Bit of Pokemon chess, actually. actually. Yeah. Oh. Shout out. It's still going. There's still plenty of people playing. Yeah. I can't believe it's great. it. It's not. Phenomenal. I can't believe it. It is great. Yeah, thank you. Someone wrote, oh, how much did... No, what was they say? Someone did not know that you made it uh, in the chat. That is the dream. Yeah. You want to, you know, yeah. I want to exceed myself. Yeah. And then yeah, just spread the word. beyond your they circles. They said, like, the chair inventor. He's so successful. Yeah, yeah who the fuck invented exactly. the chair? But I sit on one every day. Yeah. I think someone said, like, how much do they pay Zach to play this game? I was like, I think it was the other way around. So do you yeah. have a problem with that metaphor, Peter? For those <laughs> listening, Peter just made a very <laughs> intense reaction to Jordan mentioning We're it. not just, You can't just say, like, whoever invented the chair. They're no, legend. I think that was a good metaphor. Thank you, Zach. I think Thank that, I think that helped me, me understand the situation. the situation. I understand. Pokemon fully. chess is up there with the great inventions. Yeah. Like, the Such chair. A thing. Who, who invented the chair? Which one's better for you? The chair or Dude, Pokemon chess? It's crazy chair? how whoever invented the chair managed to spread it across all the countries before they had contact with each other. It's like, huge. how did they do that? Yeah, it's huge. They were also, like, a traveler. <laughs> Oh, you're saying that potentially multiple people invented the chair. Nobody invented the chair. It's just sitting down is not an invention. No, nah, but what about Someone sitting down on the chair? Because everyone would have sat. Fuck, I mean, it's actually a good point because Japan hadn't worked out chairs. They're sitting on the floor. Exactly. We're going someone to Japan later and we're like, all oh, traditional experience where we sit on the floor. Someone, like, yeah, someone should tell Japan about chairs. Yeah. Whoever, Mr. Chair should go over there. Mm-hmm. So, so I was popping around. What? <laughs> What happened on any this stream? Hi- any highlights? <laughs> uh, yeah, who, um, Grape was in there. Jordan, oh, you'll know the Grape. Legend. Grape donated 100 members. Holy shit. That was shit. crazy. Oh. And then uh, William was in there as well. I can't shout out everyone. There was a few people that were in there just being beasts. So. It's fun, right, though? It's like someone's actually watching. Well, it's it's sort of a weird experience because it's sort of the only time in your life where you are the main focus. You know what I mean? Uh, you're the star of this show. Yeah. yeah. No, of this show. What about at your oh, birthday party your... when they bring the cake out? Yeah. No, it's I like that you forever. Are, yeah. It's and a lot of that. You're the main focus, but it fucking sucks in I that did, situation. Yeah. I did just realize, because like your YouTube channel isn't just you. Like We've all done lots of videos where it's just us yeah, yeah, yeah. talking, but you haven't really done that. Don't think. Oh, oh, you played two roles the in The first one the I therapist. did, it was just me. Oh, there's been a couple, I guess. But yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah, it's not just... But that's also, that's like, like a acting character. as well. Yeah. It's like yeah, a yeah. bit. It's not just like, hi, it's me, Jackson, yeah. you know? So at the beginning, I was kind of like just literally reading the chat and not knowing what to do. But I think I kind of got into it. I think I was doing that at the end. I actually. think that's good anyway. I think people, people, people love that. Love people love that more. So I don't know. I don't know uh, what I'll do next time. I don't really enjoy playing games and streaming. I think do I like doing just other chatting things. streams. Yeah, just talk to the people. Bro, talk if I could do fans. a just chatting stream, I would. I just run out of things to talk about. Yeah, just get sure. a wheel, brother. Oh uh, yeah, get a, get wheel, a wheel, wheel, get a wheel. There was a lot of what should I do next? Me asking and people were like spin the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, it's a good no, tactic. I'm not do that. But no, just talk to them. Yeah, it made me realize the wheel is genius. Yes. Well done. Thank you. Well done. And people pay to get wheel spins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's oh. like. Content filling and you're getting paid. Oh, it is great I mean. never having to stream and be like, What should I stream? What should I, do? I never do. do that. <laughs> well, I do it's like, How many can I get off my 800 count today? What are you up to now? It's so fucked. It's like 1,050. Oh, awesome. When's the but a lot of that is me betting and losing. Oh, gambling when? streams. <laughs> wheel spin subathon. 
When's no, the, yeah, nah, when is uh, the, the stream ends when I finish the wheel spins? I would, no, I but would you, die. You need I would to. Die. You, need, you raise the limit. So you got eight hundred now. I've got a you thousand get through them now. And then any donation, you raise the bar. Even you get, a thousand you every get two minutes them. is what? Two thousand minutes? How many hours is that? Well, Ludwig a did few, a month, so, so many, keep up. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so just do many. a subathon. I would die. No, there's a reason I only stream for like three hours at a time. I like. I couldn't keep it going. Were you a bit tired after or? Very. Yeah, it's right. It's fatiguing. But I also spent the whole time talking. I suppose it was streaming. Is, That's but like, yeah, yeah, what streamers do. Yeah, it's just like, I was like, oh, sore throat. Go but on. Holly and I did the old, um, we watched Barbie and then we watched Oppenheimer on the same. Did you do it? Yesterday. You we did, the we, did, yeah, we did, did them both. That's funny. It was and? pretty huge. What was your favorite? They're pretty close. Um, Barbie might be better. <laughs> they're pretty similar. But oh, they're not similar. It's so funny because they're so different. Like this is the spoilers of the movie, but we go in to see the Barbie movie first. And is it, that the recommended order? I think so. I would. I would I recommend was that. Say the opposite. I don't know what. So the you might not feel usually, like usually you do the something. drama then the comedy mm. when they used to do two movies at a time. I guess it depends on your stamina because Barbie, you've got more stamina after to then watch Oppenheimer. Oh, you think if you watched Oppenheimer, you might be like, oh, I'm you fun. might be still full of energy after Barbie. Yes, that's what. Yeah, Oppenheimer that's what I mean. is over three hours. Yeah, because yeah, that's what happened. Fucked. We watched Barbie. We had no plan to do this. We just watched Barbie, and then we we're in a great mood. And we we're like, let's watch Oppenheimer. And we we're like, fuck. And then we went to bed. <laughs> Everyone coming out of Oppenheimer with the like, fucking depression on their faces, yeah. not saying, let's go see Barbie. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that. But we yeah. go into Barbie, and there was maybe like four guys, a bunch of girls dressed in pink and and stuff. If there was a guy, it was like with his girlfriend or something. And it was just so funny. It was like very chill cinema. And then we the, we go into Oppenheimer later and it's just the exact opposite <laughs> crowd. There was no girls other than like some girls with their boyfriends. We sit next to these guys and they're like, oh, like such guy guys. And he's like, oh, I was with a prostitute last night, but you got to always wrap it up. That's why you always... <laughs> and we're what? Now, we're like, what the Overheard fuck? in the movie theater. Yeah, he what? was talking about how he was having sex with a prostitute, but he made sure to wear a condom. And Holly's like, I like the Barbie crowd a bit better. <laughs> <laughs> why? There's good teeth These are my boys. <laughs> <laughs> it was so Jordan funny. turns around and he's like, oh, I know that feeling, brother. <laughs> he's dapping him up. Yeah. So have you guys watched any of them or... No, I They're heard good. from someone that Barbie was bad. Honestly, really? that's the only thing I've heard from someone. <gasps> no, I think I liked it better. <laughs> well, they were both quite good, though. There you go. I haven't heard it yet. It, they were both thinkers. Oh, really? I don't mm. think Barbie's a. Th- is Barbie a thinker? You haven't seen it, Peter? Yeah, it's probably yeah, it's very thinker. I th- the person that I heard from, who was someone from my frisbee team, said that it was extremely heavy-handed with its message, so it wasn't a yes. thinker. Oh, I get you. Like, it's like, oh. Jordan likes wow, that these, marginalized, that. I do love these that. marginalized people, we should be nicer to them. And it's just like, yeah, okay, let me work it out for myself, you know? Mm, but why work it out when yeah, you could see. just have it spoon fed? Yeah, I think I might be right on this one. <laughs> Remember the Jordan <laughs> yeah, true. reviews? Yeah. No, it's like like spoon feeding inherently. Like when I eat a risotto, I I use a spoon. Imagine going to school and the teacher's you know? like, hmm. Yeah, that's how you <laughs> learn, Jordan. No, they tell you. No, they say, mm, no, they why don't you. we try it? And then you can work it out for yourself. That's how you, you should know this. That's how you actually learn. I don't know learn. if it's because we're wearing the exact same fit, but I'm on Jordan's <laughs> team today. Well, oh, I feel like. I've, no. I've agreed with the chair comment and yeah, now I agree bro. with this. Like You're discussing like <laughs> what's called rote learning versus like critical thinking, right? Yeah, yeah. No, there is definitely benefit of like figuring stuff out for yourself. Jordan was a primary school teacher. There's yeah, that's true. Thinking that's true. I think that's true. Maybe what you mean Jordan's is like thinking it's on the, the level of yeah, up to twelve year olds. Exactly. I get that. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the Barbie movie Thirteen. though. It is like, the Barbie movie. Like it's, it's silly. It's a silly that one. Maybe like spoon fed a message. It's oh like, yeah, because oh, that's Oppenheim. trying to be a really like. It was a bit too uh, confusing. I will admit it. Mm. I will admit. It. <laughs> I'm definitely watching Oppenheimer over Barbie. After Oppenheimer this review. was good though. It made me be like, thank God, Elon and all those people are not trying to kill us. Because yeah, thank God he likes Wario or whatever the shit. <laughs> <laughs> like he's going to space and shit. Yeah, he's yeah, rebranding like Twitter it's, instead it's of like, nuking us. This isn't like a spoiler because it's literally history, but it's like all the <laughs> best scientists in the world are just getting together to kill people. Yeah. And it's like, this is fucked. But that. it made me think physics and maths is very cool. Because yeah. I've got to use theoretical oh. physics. Science which, is crazy. Science is crazy. And, and maths is crazy. crazy. Which is like when you just use maths to run experiments because you can't physically do them. And then they're like, hang on. They keep doing that. And they're like, oh, we could make this bomb. It's like, yeah, we could, uh, you put theory into practice. And that's pretty crazy. It's yeah. like actually turning theoretical physics into regular physics. It's like physics. how they discovered black holes and all that shit. It's just it's really You just cool. keep doing maths and then you're like, oh, that's cool. So that was pretty gangster. Well, this is a good segue into 
this week's segment. Ooh. Like, what? Oh, go, go on. on. Over Underdogs is back. <laughs> yeah. Movie and TV edition. Oh. And we've had a rule change from last time because last time there was a bit of tactics going on. So yes. You have to answer at the same time. There I was throwing, was the, uh, wasn't there? There was a lot of throwing and saying, you go against me and et cetera, yeah. et cetera. There was some controversy. People are... We're upset, weren't they, guys? Yeah. Namely, I, I was, Peter or Jordan? I think someone was robbed. I can't remember who it was. It was a now. bit of how many average feet, and Zach got an absolute... Oh, oh, that was that horse was shit. It, yeah, yeah, I was, man. 1.9. 1. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Red to the nearest 1.9. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, that was, that's pretty hurtful, <laughs> but... Um, um, yeah, well, it was stupid. So, so moving into the, se- the you segment... You deserve to be hurt. So you have to go at the same time this time. All right. And I'm going to try and keep okay. score, but it's very difficult to keep Can you recap score. the game for oh, yes. those who don't remember, like So me? I'll say a question, and then the person whose turn it is, let's say Peter in this case. Should I do the first question and yeah, we'll talk yeah. about Yeah, let's do it. So, the first question this time is the number of episodes of The Simpsons. Now, Peter's going to guess a number, and then Jordan <laughs> and Zach at the same time after have to guess over or under. Now, if he splits the group, e.g. Jordan says over and Zach says under, Peter gets a point. And if both of them guess over and they're wrong, Peter gets a point. And if both of them guess under and they're right, then they get points. Peter gets nothing. And Good the points game. are very important. So yes. listeners, keep track of them yeah, in your head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they will, they will certainly come up uh, later. <laughs> <laughs> we should keep track of our own points. Yeah. On our fingers. Oh, I'm on 10. Right. Hang on. <laughs> Number of episodes of The Simpsons, Peter. Uh, I'm going to go with 550. Okay. Do we, are you going to count as oh, in? Yeah, ready? Yeah. Three, two, are you ready, Zach? Three, two, one. Over. Over. Both correct. It's 750 episodes. Oh, wow. Simpsons I was is thinking, big. Yeah, there's like the 20 biggest. per season, and I know there's at least 20 I know there's seasons. over 20 yeah, seasons. Yeah, I was doing that that's math. That's 400, that's, isn't it? That's like 500. Yeah, but then more. <laughs> Me too, that's what Hands I did. Well, over. Looks like I did the math wrong, but I won. Point okay. for me. But theoretical. So you two are on one point. Yeah. yeah. And math yep. is crazy. Math is crazy. <laughs> Damn, good math. <laughs> All, All right. right. The year that The Dark Knight was released, Jordan. Oh, I know this. 2008. Okay. Three, two, one. He's over. right. Yeah, he's right. I said he's right. I don't. Uh, we never had that before. No, because I I knew that. I think <laughs> <laughs> nothing like Oi, a trivia. I mean, me and Jordan it. on the same page again. <laughs> oh, I know we've got to put on the hoodie next week. I'm getting done. <laughs> Surely Zach and I both get a you point. Get a point. And Peter's sitting on zippity doo dah over yeah, here. Yeah, if I if I don't get a point because <laughs> oh, he's right wasn't an option. You had to say over or under. Yeah, he's right has to be. I think it's not he's right to dogs. It's over yeah, or under I dogs. That. I was scrolling once the uh, IMDb movie list to look at. Oh, that's another movie I saw, Pulp Fiction. Mm. Every now and then I like to scroll for the good movies and I'm like, I'll watch a good movie. Yeah. <laughs> and then I saw Dark Knight on there. That's what I liked about the Barbie movie I forgot to say. Women. Number of Golden Globe nominations that Samuel L. Jackson has. Oh, he was noms? in Pulp Fiction. Fun fact. Noms. Oh, nominations. Nominations. That he has. Yes. All right. I'm going to say 44. How often do they have this? Oh, I guess that's part of the game. Yeah. yeah. Three, two, one. Under. under. Well under. Four. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it's a once a year thing, oh, right? Wait, Golden Globes four? are just TV, right? No, I think they're both. He's actually mm. only been nominated for two... What's the other one? Academy Awards. Surely it's no, pretty sorry, rare. Nominated Oscars? for oh, one Academy Oscar. Awards? Sorry, yeah. Nominated for one Oscar and then got an honorary... What's it called? Well, but Oscar. to be fair, I could have said five and they both would have... They might not have. They might. I might have said over then. What, yeah. what number were you picturing? Oh, I was thinking like eight or nine. Yeah, I, I was didn't picturing even about picture after he said forty-four. You just said <laughs> see ya, under. under. Oh, I. You know what? I might be thinking of like how movies can get like so many multiple nominations because they can oh. get like screenplay, yeah. like, oh, casting oh, director. It's like how many things did La La Land get? And it's like too many, man. Yeah, like yeah. best um, soundtrack, etc. But yeah. oh. he can't win best soundtrack. One of them I said before was casting director, but they definitely don't do that. That's a good one. They should do that. <laughs> they should do one for stunt best stunt man. They do. No, they don't. No, they do. They really? added it recently. Because That's cool. Stunt men are so heavily like yeah, underappreciated. They're so under, yeah. yeah. That's good that they did that. So, three, two, one score. Peter, number of viewers for the final episode of Seinfeld to the nearest <laughs> decimal place I think I in know millions. This. How would 
I know this? Yeah, well, I don't think anyone knows anything. I well, think Zach said he thinks he knows this. Jackson, well, are you good. sure you didn't know where we'd be sitting on the couch today? Because these questions seem targeted at different people. Uh, no, I didn't, obviously. All obviously. Right. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Mm. Um, I didn't either. <laughs> 11.3 million. Yeah, okay. Good guess. There's a... Are, are you? Do you know what I'm t- thinking about? I'm not giving you a hint, bro. We're answering at the same time. Do you know what time. I'm thinking about? <laughs> there's, like, there's like a famous interview where he gets insulted. Oh, per- yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm no, trying to... Because he says the number in that, but I can't remember so it now. So you did an interview. I think it's with Larry Bird. Is that a person? That does a like bird. A, I think it is. Famous NBA Larry, player. You're thinking of Larry... What's his name? Larry <laughs> he does King. A, he does a radio show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah something King. like that, yeah. Yeah, and he says like... Um, Can I change like, my guess? Uh, I guess so. No one said anything. I'm going to change my answer. I'm going to triple it to 33.9 okay. Okay. million. Terrible choice, but it's locked in. Um, <laughs> Jesus. <Wow. laughs> Peter, I think it might be all right. So, no, he's on this interview with Larry King and Larry King says like, oh, after Seinfeld got cancelled or like, he was like, oh, what did you think of doing after Seinfeld was cancelled? And he was like, cancelled? Yeah, he got really cancelled. upset. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Which, honestly, fair enough. He was like, we were the biggest show on television. <laughs> like, we had our season finale. We chose to go out and we had this many viewers for our last episode. Cancelled. Yeah, I swear he says it just then. All right. That was a pretty good Seinfeld impression. Was All right, can I we do this? Do we do a countdown? Put me out of my misery, honestly. Right, three, two, one. I think over. it's under. <gasps> point! Oh, you got a point. Yes. 76.3 oh, million over. viewers. Oh, man, I was way off. Yeah. Oh, terrible <laughs> change, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking idiot. In my mind, it was. Yeah. What well, did you think it was? I thought it was a 13 million, so I was like, ooh, Peter's really close. I thought it was like 100 million. <laughs> Have I, you had, not, I had the clip in my head of him saying like, 13 million people. That's just what I thought. Yeah, I was picturing him going, 100 million. <laughs> so I thought, like, I was like, oh, Peter's close. And then he tripled it. So yeah. you can see how I thought that yeah. was a bad Have idea. you guys seen the images of people just watching it in Times Square as it was being aired? No. I don't think we That's will great. ever understand the cultural influence. And no show will ever be this big ever again. Right, let's do a score update, oh, shall good we? Idea. Jordan's on four, yes. Peter's on two, and Zach's on two. Wow, how Ooh. concise. That was a really good score update. <laughs> Right, we're heading over to Jordan wait, wait. now. When did I when did I lose one? You never you got to lose. three. You don't lose I was one. How did three, Jordan two, get two ahead of me? Like I guess getting, my own getting one him right twice. Oh, okay. You uh, went under there, remember? Yeah. Well under. Right, Jordan. The number of Lord of the Rings movies in the highest rated one hundred IMDB movies. Top one hundred, sorry. Does that make sense? What? Number you know how you have your list of good movies? Oh, how many of them are Lord of the Rings? How many of the top 100 rated uh, movies Lord of the Rings. are Lord of the Rings Ooh. movies? Oh, man, I might be good to answer this. It's at least three. Could be four. I'm going to... 100 is a big number. I'm going to say four. Three, two, one. Under. Over. Split them. Split them. Well done, Jordan. That's a point. It is three. Oh, of them. Yes. All it's in the top 16. The yeah, Hobbit's I knew not going to be up there. I knew those three were there. So then I was like, 100 so big. Surely yeah. there's another movie. The Hobbit movie. was not that good. So I thought there's... The Hobbit would get some like Are there only audience? three Lord of the Rings? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I haven't seen any of them. So. This is The Hobbit as well. Oh, and you know, they, like, they, they made IMDb three Hobbits. Still uh, a bit of, I should have gone with three. It's still a bit of audience voting like things. Because some things will get really high on IMDb and then move down. Yeah. Whoa. It's like when new movies come out that are good, they'll be like number one on IMDb. But then, like, it doesn't last. Oh, they get moved down. Yeah, yeah. Like, what's what's like a really good movie that everyone thought? Oppenheimer's about number sixteen right now, or something like That's that. That's gonna oh, move yeah. down. Yeah. So, like, stuff like that. Well, I saw a comment uh, in our Patreon chat that said it was Chris Nolan's best movie, which would be big because I do love a lot of his movies. Mm. So, I really want to go see it. So, score update: Jordan is on five, five for splitting the group. Peter got that one right, moving himself to three. Is that correct? Yeah, I've shut the bed. And you have absolutely pooed the bed. But don't worry, the last one's worth triple points or some shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, always yeah, sort yeah, of pointless. Is nice. this the last one or another round? No, there's up? one more round up. Hell for this. yeah. So, <laughs> Zach, what number is Sheldon Cooper commonly seen wearing on his shirt? <laughs> Easy. Wait, so I say it and yep. then. They say overall. Oh, I'm going to say that he's right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> you gave him away That's your card. That's bullshit. Oh, what if I come up with a lie? You can make all it I got to do is yeah, split, you split the group. Split. Oh, oh, split my the group. God. How many points do I get for a correct answer versus splitting the group? Uh, we, we weren't doing it's extra points for getting a spot on, it's which we did one. do last time, but this time we're Well, not. I got one. I, I actually don't know. I'm going to go with seven. Okay. I know exactly what the shirt looks like, but I don't know if I know the number. Bazoinga. What? Because <laughs> <laughs> it might be fucking nice. Bazooka. Three, two, one. 
over. over. You idiots fell for the nine. Well, it's I think it's a two-digit number. No, I just thought there were so many numbers. I thought it was like 76 or seven. It's 73. I'm Ooh, I was so close. confident in this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I, I knew it was 70-something. <laughs> I thought it was only one digit. <laughs> Zach, you just got bazingas. I'm getting Mandela affected <laughs> for all of these things. Like the Berenstein Bears. I, I Who? swear. What the hell's the Berenstein Bears? <laughs> Who are they? You know the Mandela effect? Yeah. yeah. Um, the Berenstein Bears. That doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very famous one. It's like people thought it was the Berenstein Bears, but it's like the Berenstein Bears. I don't oh, know who the Berenstein Bears yeah. are. This needs more. The I don't know any Bears. of those. But yeah. Anyway, I I am getting my mind blown every time. Yeah, That's you're why I'm so, so cocky believing and confident, it. and I'm on two points. Yeah, seventy three is the twenty first prime number. Whatever that means, nerds get it. I mean, well, prime numbers, yeah, it's not that complicated. Why does he like 21? Doesn't make Yeah, prime it's more of the 21 bit. 21, yeah. I guess, because that's a prime number? Well, I think it's a prime number, a prime number, a prime number. Uh, 21's shit. not a prime number. You put seven and three. True. <laughs> 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 All right, let's move on. Right, L- our last round, which is worth, how, well, how far ahead are you? Maybe he's 21 years old. No? True. Bazinga. Six. Yeah, it sounds Jordan right. is six, on three, six. Two. No, I'm on f- at least four. You're on four. Yeah, six, four, four, two. We're going to make it worth mm, double points. Five points? Last question might be worth five points. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll see how badly you're doing. <laughs> right. The lifetime gross for the highest grossing movie mm. in point two decimal places in billions. Two Whoa. decimal places? Yeah. Okay. So, for example, 4.99 yep. billion. Yep. Uh, billion. Three point uh, two six billion. Oh, right. that's a great guess. Three. Two, one, under. under. Correct. I'm, I'm going to be... Co- I, I was, was going like to let you again. be comfy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, it was close. What is it, Zach? I think it's like... Wait, was it close? I thought it was like okay, 2.5. No 2.92 billion dollars. Mm. I knew it was somewhere oh. around three. Yeah, and that's Avatar, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The original or the latest? The, no, the original. original. Didn't Endgame beat it at some point? No. Nah. I think it's beaten it in like... What's it called? Like opening weekend or yeah, something, something but like in that, terms but of not lifetime. lifetime gross. Guys, fun fact, the highest grossing movie when in, when adjusted for inflation is Cleopatra. Really? A very, a very old movie. I that thought it'd be sense. Titanic or something. Titanic was the first Titanic movie to get a billion. Cleopatra. First, yeah. Titanic was the first one to get Bill. That's what I loved about these. Barbenheimer, no superheroes. That's good. Yeah, you're yeah. not a superheroes, man, are you? Nah. Well, guess what question I got for you. Oh, God. Since Iron Man in 2008. <laughs> <laughs> Same year as Bad The Dark Knight. Yeah, true. Good, Good year. Go. That's when that Good started. year for movies. And not including The Marvels, which is not out yet. There has been the X amount of Marvel movies. <laughs> Too many. Jordan, remember, it's not including The Marvels. I knew that was, you that knew that was, was coming up. Your the Marvels, I thought maybe yeah. if Zach had this question, we'd ha- risk like, no all these ones being listed out. I don't keep a track of, There's a wait, lot just of movies. movies. Yeah, just movies. Wait, so oh, since so we, 2008. Yep. To now, how many Marvel movies That's have there been? What, it's not years. Like, the Marvels. It's called their what Infinity MCU. Saga or something. No, it wait, there was a new something. There's a new saga that started after oh, that. Oh, there's five sagas, five phases or something. And okay. we're in the third so or fourth. This or something. is the fifteenth year. I'm gonna guess. Yeah. Three point five movies a year. Oh, I thought you were about to say three point five million movies. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was gonna say three point five movies. I'm gonna say there's like fifty movies. All right. 50. All right. Three, two, one. Under. under. Oh, I think it's around 30 something. That was pretty rough to give Jordan when me and Peter both well, probably knew that. We didn't plan where we were going to sit on the couch, yeah, you know. Yeah. 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 And um, I guess 33. Oh, what are you guessing, Zach? Oh, is this for a, for a point? No. Nah, point? Nah, point? Nah, if you get fun. a bang on, you get a point. No, that's All just, right. Zach, you, he heard me you go, I'm going to say 29. Guess. Okay, well, it's 32. You're oh, close. Ooh. How many points are we all on? Well, I got to, just uh, got two rounds of double points, so. Damn. Yeah, so what's everyone's on? I'm on I six. Know, did I get that last one? What, it was Peter's? Uh, the question was... Uh, you guys both gross. got mine. I got Peter's. I didn't get that. So I'm on six, Zach's on six, you're on ten. No, he's okay. on eight. Eight, eight. Ooh. I didn't get that last okay, one. Oh, this one's shit, worth actually triple points. Oh, yeah. anyone can win. <laughs> yeah, we can. Okay, hang on. We need to have a pause because I need to get a better question because this is a bit too exciting for this question, so just wait. Can Talk we get amongst yourselves about for this. For fun? Yeah, to talk uh, about. Can I, I'll, t- I'll say something about movies while we're on the topic. Yeah, I watched okay. the other day the uh, Lion King live action remake looking one. Uh, oh. Dude, thoughts? don't give it a shot. Honestly, oh, give really? it a shot. I was actually I expecting it. it to be absolutely dreadful. And it was actually really good to watch. I, I'm going to go ahead and say that people hating on the Disney remakes, 
might be bandwagoning a bit. And I was on the bandwagon and I kind of changed my tune. Mm. I'm on the band. I, I am on the bandwagon. Have you watched but any I, of I them? probably don't have a right to be. I watched The Jungle Book. Okay. That was okay. Uh, there was on a date with a girl that I never saw again. Probably soured the experience. Yeah, I'd say that's me. probably a bit of a <laughs> tough one. Um, <laughs> I'm looking forward to I think I'm going to watch Aladdin next because I remember thinking like, this looks so bad from the trailer. Then I rewatched the trailer and I was like, this actually looks kind of good. I, I watched the <laughs> Will Smith good. version of like Prince Ali. Yeah. And I just I just didn't want to see a whole movie with Will Smith. As oh, a I genie. think it's going to be funny. I think that movie's got a lot of charm. Okay, so here's my take, right? Uh, the Lion King, the animation is so good. Like, I cannot describe to you how good this animation is. It it's a is, lion talking. It is like, no, but take that out of the equation because everyone just hyper no, fixates on that it's weird that they're like opening their mouths and talking to No, no, to I'm voices. saying it's it's good that like, they made that look real. There's a whole scene of like a mouse at the start of it just running around and it is impossible to believe it's not real. It's oh, actually wow. so unbelievable it's not real. And then you're doing that and then a lion opens their mouth and it's just a human person talking and you're like, okay, that's a bit weird. But it, it only gives you that level of dissonance because of how real it looks, which is kind uh, of a compliment the to The uncanny it, you know valley I mean? a little bit. Yeah. And with that said also, um, the people who they have in it singing are fantastic. Like in terms oh, like singing. you can't have a duet of fucking like Beyonce and Donald Glover, Childish Gambino as lions together and for not to be great. You know, it's just That's really true. good. Who did Donald Glover play? Uh, adult Simba. Awesome. Yeah, the cast for that movie is he, really nah, good. Adult, I remember it having a fucking insane Adult Nala cast. is Beyonce, and they do like a whole new world together. Not a whole new world. That's <laughs> Aladdin. Uh, can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> no, can, you, see. can you feel the love tonight? <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. Beyonce and Donald. I'm like, what the hell is this? It's great. Holy shit! It's oh, it's worth a watch. I would All say right. it's actually worth a watch. You've uh, you've one eighty'd my like <laughs> going into the movie. What to <laughs> yeah. expect? And the animation is amazing, so I would recommend. Just appreciate the voices. Yeah. Mm. Oh, the person who does Scar. You know Scar's song? I don't know what it's called. Be prepared. Oh, yeah. yeah. He is... It's such a good singing performance. It's so good. Right. right. I write. All right, let's go. I was a hater going into it, and so That's he convinced good, me. a reverse scam watch. Yeah. It's like a good mm. movie that everyone says is bad. And also because Disney throws so much money at it. Yeah. It can't be bad. Um, Watch the live action Milan, because I've heard even worse things about uh, that. Yeah. And I want you to do the the research for me. <laughs> I heard that was bad. I watched the trailer of that after watching Lion King and be like, was this actually bad or not? I watched the trailer. I'm like, well, it looks pretty good. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> man. Please watch live action Milan and All then right. come back to me. <laughs> I'll come back next week. Wait, have you seen the original Milan? Though? Yeah. Yeah. All right, final question. Here we go. Are you nervous? I am. Triple points. I know anyone could win, believe it or not. All right. This one is about... The Star Wars original soundtrack. Ooh. The soundtrack album was released by 20th Century Records as a double LP record in the United States in 1977. The album's main title peaked at number what on the Billboard's Hot 100? What was that other question you were saying would be? <laughs> no, easy? this is a good one. <laughs> so, so, so Star so Wars song, how high did it get in the top 100? The album. Of oh, the, the album. Songs. When you say the main title... It's like oh, the, sorry, yeah. The, the album. song, the song, actually. Yeah. No, the song, yeah. The song. Yeah. I think we yeah. got that one, yep. For anyone that didn't know. Yeah. <laughs> Heard it before? Do Let's do, do a quick acapella. <laughs> okay, we're not Luke. actually doing that. I wanted that. to oh. ask the question of how many people were in the orchestra of that uh, movie, but I couldn't find 85. Huh? That's what you're going with? <laughs> number 85. I was guessing the number of no, people no, in the orchestra. Oh, sorry. Right. I can't find that information, so oh. that can't be the question. So what how, number did it peak at? I'm thinking of like, how would Jackson find this unless it was actually interesting, <laughs> like number one? Yeah, that's a good point. So I'm going to go with number seven. It's got to be high, but not the top. I love talking through your logic for these two to snipe. Yeah, go on, snipe all That's what, a good all guess. Want. I'm not sure what I'll go yet. Yeah, I'm going right. to split the room and get it right. Yeah, true. Three, two, one, over. over. Now... Oh, Wait. sorry. I meant under, as in a high, a yeah. lower number. Oh, I meant lower number as well. Yeah. So you guys yes. both think it was lower than seven. one and seven. One to sorry, six. Oh, one to six. The number under. I don't know if it got to number one, but people are nervous. I uh, maybe like three. All right. It peaked at number ten. Oh, yeah. Yeah. well done. <laughs> Zach is the well winner done. of this week's over underdogs. With the least questions answered right. Uh, <laughs> the, the comeback story. Well a bit done. of Mario Party stuff. Jordan, that it's just good. like Family Feud. you got to remember the last round's worth That's double true. points. The last question's worth triple points. Yeah, you saved right. your, your tactics till then. So there you go. Number 10. 
Um, I, I have a few stories from the music festival that I went to. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, Speaking yeah. of music. Yeah. Speaking oh. of music. <laughs> Segways today are unbelievable. Oh, I t- well, I didn't even Imagine we'd mean to do them. that. So uh, I'm sure some people might remember me talking about this on the podcast last year, but I went to this festival called Splendor in the Grass and it was just fucking terrible. There was mud everywhere. The weather was terrible. People's tents were floating away Which in, sounds great. in the water, in, a, in the way. river. Yeah, it was... Well, you had like plastic bags tied around your feet at all times and shit. It was yeah, messed up. And it looked horrific. Just mud all over the shoes. Like, anyway, so I decided to go back this year and it was incredible, the difference. Like, <laughs> like last year in the mud and that, I actually still had heaps of fun. This year, like also had lots of fun, but just didn't have to deal with that bullshit, which was very good. We had like grass, we were like... Near grass. the splendor of the grass had grass, <laughs> it had, had splendor. splendor, it was awesome. <laughs> we were like, Yeah, we had a really good spot camping, and I'm sure you guys saw that I filmed a bit of a video there. I yeah, did see that, which is very exciting. Um, so I was doing game shows in the mosh pit, yes, the, the main one being Family Feud, but the, the video idea is just like really stupid place to host the game shows, so but then. I kind of didn't realize how stupid it would be until I was there <laughs> <laughs> in my like gold suit. So you're, yeah, you're going little into microphone. the mosh pit with a, yeah. with what, Manny with a camera? Yeah, who's filming this? Uh, me on a selfie stick with a 360 Even camera. Even better. Even better. Because yep, I don't want to make anyone yeah. of my friends film it. Like, yeah, uh, they're there to enjoy the festival. Yeah. yeah. So I was just filming myself <laughs> and then I would just like go up to people I did give away some money to try and get people involved. Uh, so I'd be like, who wants to win $50 so that people <laughs> would actually be keen? Yep. And it was just a lot of like yelling into the mic, like me being like, we asked a hundred people <laughs> and these are the top five answers. And they're like, what? <laughs> so good. Cause it was like during the bands playing and pretty close to the front. So it was quite loud, <laughs> but then still everyone, everyone like played the games pretty well. Have you watched the footage back? Is it usable? Yeah, it's usable. Okay, good. Yeah, I was worried the mic would just be like... Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> just absolutely peaking. Yeah, so that'll probably work its way into some kind of video. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but it was it was so funny. Like, people were actually getting around it. Like, it would be a uh, experience. I, I, can't, I can just imagine people being way too drunk, though, and being like... Mostly not. I, actually, I did it before the sun went too far down. Oh, okay. That's probably good. Oh, there yeah. was one really fucking annoying guy that was like drunk trying to get on camera all the time. And I was like, yo, you're very cool. And I nearly <laughs> got into a fight because I turned around and like said like, fuck off. But like, <laughs> he was just like, oh, can you do this again? And I was like, can you fuck off? <laughs> like in my game show voice. And then he like nearly grabbed me and tried to fight me. I was like, oh, Hope that's holy shit. And the worst part is always on camera because it's 360. <laughs> yeah, I know. You can't avoid it. You can't avoid. He's on camera. No, nah, but then he kissed me on the cheek and sort of went on, went away oh. a bit. Went on his that way. Changed. Yeah, strange. I, yeah, that um, seems like a very risky concept. But yeah, I, I'm. You're braver than me. I wouldn't do that. No, Doing no. what? Him kissing me on the no, cheek. No, the whole video. <laughs> oh. no, no, rewind way further back. <laughs> <laughs> I'd kiss you on the cheek, sure, but I wouldn't do this. I wouldn't get myself in this situation. Um, yeah. Well, it's it's like I if I think a video idea is like funny. I will like put myself through the embarrassment. It's not like I enjoy going into the marsh and like being the quote unquote like center of attention because you do get like no, attention. I think you're willing to tolerate it way more than any of us. Yeah, yeah no, I, I would agree. It's like when I went out into public as like dressed as Falco. Falco yeah. with Jackson and like Jackson, you were there and I was like actually in pain, like cringing when we were trying to find somewhere yep. to set up. <laughs> yep. And then like, but then like once it's set up, I was like, all right, let's try and like, once just you're there, you've just got to commit. Otherwise, it's you're an idiot. Like I was, I was otherwise you're just a dickhead dressed like this for no reason. You may as well, yeah. you know, enjoy it. I was yeah, like no one, dreading yeah. it, but then like I got the little microphone out and the camera, and then I was just like, all right, let's just fully commit, and then people like get it, get amongst it for the bit. So yeah, how you much have to psych yourself up? Do you uh, have to like stay in the tent for a bit, being like, <laughs> 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 nah, not really. Welcome, welcome, guys. Welcome, <laughs> welcome back lines. to Family Feud. <laughs> no. Who wants fifty bucks? <laughs> <laughs> I did have to go through a fair bit of other preparation to sneak my camera stuff into the festival. <laughs> oh, oh, you're not allowed to film. How's your so anus? you're not allowed selfies. <laughs> <laughs> what? I was like, how's your anus after getting it all in? Man, you do not want to check the 360 cam footage from yeah. when I was getting it. <laughs> and then I had to bring the zoom lens, and that shit is not small. <laughs> um, 
So I had a selfie stick, like a lip. <laughs> <laughs> it's collapsible. A little, at least. Telescope goes <laughs> away. A little camera and a microphone pack, all up my ass. <laughs> um, so we had to get past like the security guards who had metal detectors because you weren't allowed any oh, like no. audio or video recording Makes devices sense. that aren't yep. phones yep. and no selfie sticks. So this this was my setup: um, three sixty camera and microphone pack in my underwear. Some so, people set yeah. off the metal detector. Some people sneak in drugs. No, so I just had to hope that they like yeah. they weren't metal detecting everyone. Oh, okay. They were like checking some bags, and then like most of the people they just wave through. So I was lucky like they didn't check that. Uh, so yeah, just imagine they to- checked it and then the <laughs> things going off. And you're like, you know that you it's in your underwear. Like, what do you I do? Just have a metal cock. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost my dick in an accident a long time ago on a meat grinder. I now have a robo Oh my like, God, that'd be way more embarrassing. in there, chief, nothing to <laughs> yeah, speak. Yeah, don't even worry about it, dude. No, I just had to, so I had to walk through and hope that they didn't notice anything different there. Just exuded some big dick energy, you know? Yeah, yeah, they're like, oh yeah, of course. They were like, this is, he has massive dick energy. Look at the bulge <laughs> in his pants. But the interesting one was the selfie stick, which I couldn't really put down there without yeah. <laughs> looking like I had a massive erection. Yeah. So well, this is fine, I guess. <laughs> instead, I put my selfie stick in my shoe and just Ooh, up your it. leg. No, no, like under, underneath my foot. Oh, yeah. is, is oh, it collapse? that collapsible in the base? Oh, okay. Yeah, so it, it was it was about a foot long. Right. Wow. Wow. Checks out. <laughs> 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 Do you know what else um, is a foot long? <laughs> a foot, so it fit perfectly. Yeah, except I had to walk with like I had to fake walking like I wasn't in incredible pain. <laughs> it re- it really did hurt, like just yeah. this metal pole, like no foot structural support. So I just had to walk in, but then it was okay. I went into a portable toilet and like just put the stuff in my pockets. Now that people weren't going to check me, and then just nice. Went in. Wow, good on you. Yeah, so that was fun. That'll That's probably <laughs> become either a video or several TikToks or both. Surely both. But Surely both. yeah, true. That's I got some other TikTok funny content. Got some fu- other funny things that happened at the festival. Yeah. So we saw Lizzo. Shout out. Do you guys know Lizzo? Yeah, I don't like yeah. her. Yeah. Why don't you like Why? her? Why? I don't like her music. Oh, okay. Okay. Fair enough. But you don't like her as well? What What don't you like about the music? It's just not up my alley, I think. It's just not Fair. my style of music. So she was in Perth, though. Um, this was in Perth. This was not in Perth. This was not in Perth. No, no this Zach flew out for this, remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, she, oh, was, she was at this festival. She was headlining the first night. She was actually a really good live performer, which like because she's very imagine. she's very extra. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Um, some of some of her songs like Maddie. D- Maddie likes Lizzo. I was about to say Maddie's a big fan. I thought. Yeah, and we kind of have like because we both listen to Spotify in the car. It's like the liked songs. Oh yeah. They're like you know, oh she would like put on the songs in the car. So I knew quite a few of the songs, and they went pretty hard, and it was good. There was also some very weird stuff. Like she tried to get everyone to do a meditation in the middle of the set. <laughs> I love it. Like she was actually like. Now, everyone, close your eyes, like, breathe in for six, breathe out. That's funny. Like, I think that's great. I like that. Yeah, it was it was pretty funny. And then she was like, bet you bitches never done a meditation at a music festival before. And she, <laughs> uh, and she also good. signed- That's the push-ups or something. <laughs> she signed somebody's ass. <laughs> like, somebody so had good. a sign saying, like, Lizzo, sign my ass. And then she got them on stage. Age and literally signed the bare butt cheek. That's then really she was funny. like, now pointed at the camera, and they like fucking twerked at the camera with their signed what ass. The fuck? And I was like, well, what is going on? That's sick. that's great. It was I very Lizzo though, because yeah. like she was doing a bit of twerking and a bit of dancing. Herself. That's unhinged. I like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, some of her songs like "Good as Hell" went pretty went went off. Prime time. Prime time. <laughs> We got some prom right here. <laughs> That's gonna be the most jarring cut of all time. <laughs> Eleven lime. Shout out the first dip and yep. yeah. around. Yeah, Lemon lime good. prime time. So this is the last one. Yeah, the Yo. final prime time. Lemon lime prime time rhymes. Oh damn. Lemon lime prime time rhymes. Guys, everyone's gotta think of a word that rhymes with that to describe this prime. I've already Lemon got mine. Prime. I, it really hinges on it being good though. Ooh. Oh, mine's the opposite. Oh, well, that's good. I know Peter's word. What is your word? Can't remember what I rated the other ones now. Oh yeah, mine's my word's fine. Oh. I wanted to call it sublime. Oh, I will call it sublime. I liked that. No, mine's, I can't remember what I rated the mine's other ones. Crime. <laughs> it's a crime. <laughs> it's a crime. And it's also the colour of slime. I think that's my favourite. 
Maybe even better than Orange. Jordan, you don't understand the game. Wait, how's the game? <laughs> Favourite doesn't rhyme with prime. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's a crime. It's sublime. <laughs> it looks like slime. That's my favourite. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <Jordan> um, <laughs> I'm. I'll come back to me. Come divine, on. divine, with divine. I'm Chat's helping you. Divine. No, I can't, no, I can't look. I can't look. Jordan just said, "Come back I'm. to me when we've already all gone." That's just how it works. Um, can, I, can I have oh, a second hit? Words in case are so that was, hard. Um, in case I don't actually like it, I feel like I love this though. Um, mm. What is? It? It's reminding me of something. What's this remind you of? Lemon it tastes like time. straight cordial to a, me. A simpler time. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah, there's definitely cordial. A simpler time. But I can't think of a word. You're just knocking them out and Jordan's over there. Oh, I can't think of a word. I can't. I give up. Just say it tastes like lime. It tastes like lime. Great. Thank um, God. That, I- that does taste like lemon lime cordial, but like, you know how sometimes when you make cordial as a kid, you're like, I'm going to put it in three times. As much. Yeah. Yeah. And, then, and then it just tastes like shit. Yeah. I reckon like if you put a mountain dew out in the sun... And it lost all its fizz, and then maybe like yeah, it would taste it went like that. down to fifty percent, like cause uh, volume, so it was twice as concentrated. It just tastes like that. Yeah, it has a bit of a nectar so vibe sweet. to it. I can't believe oh, how yeah, sweet like, all of them are. Like literally, if you just simmer a mountain, yeah, deep. if you simmer a mountain, you all the bubbles come out, all the water comes out, and you're left with that. I maybe agree. that's what they did. They simmered it. They added some electrolytes and called it a day. Yeah, took the sugar out somehow and uh, called it a day. I like yeah. it. That so could be equal to orange for me. I guess I guess we'll rate the prime out of five because we've been doing it for all the others. Yeah, Out of five, I'll give that one a three. I'll give that a three and a half. I can't remember what I rated uh, orange. I'll give it a four. Wait, is did I give... I'll give it a half a point below orange. Someone figure that out. Nice. <laughs> thanks, thanks for holding up the microphone for that burp, Jordan. <laughs> I'll give it a four. Also, every week I listen to you say exactly the same thing. I can't remember what I rated the last <laughs> one, but I'll give this one a four. And then every time I say <laughs> <that>. <laughs> Jordan, can we give you a compilation? <laughs> compilation of Jordan's... <laughs> my mind is consistent. Prime ratings. Um, Holy shit. My brain is consistent. After this, we, don't, we cannot forget to just talk about Jordan's fruit to yeah, I, I was just thinking uh, that. Before we... Oh. Good segue. Uh, I give it a one. That was... Oh, oh my god! Scathing out of review. nowhere, it was a crime. Like All I right. said, so we're you know what else was a crime? Yep. Speaking of segues, <laughs> Jordan committed a fucking atrocity. Okay, so guys at home, if you're at home on a computer or a phone, go onto your Twitter, go to Jordan's Twitter, <laughs> and then look at his fruit tier list because it. We, Why it, are we talking about you've this? Got, so you've you do not need to talk see about this. You need to see okay, this. So shit. I haven't seen it yet. Um, That's it. Okay. Can I? Should I live react? I feel like because you get guys it, have yeah, both get seen it up it on your phone. It's not going to be that bad. Okay. Okay. I'll get it up for reference as well. I'd like to bring up my my major dis- discrepancies with this tier list. Okay, well, uh, I think there are some good choices. I'm not. Gonna, I would hope so. I'm not going to go wrong with you. fruit. Shut up, Jordan. Okay, <laughs> it's my turn to talk about your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, my biggest problems are. In A tier, so the second highest tier, ranked seven. Are there tiers ordered or are they random? Yes, they're ordered. Okay, in, in rank number seven is Raisins. All right, all right let's, let's talk about that for a sec. I want to hear some rebuttal. Okay, okay. So, I have never had a Raisin. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're not no, helping no, your case. No, 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 no. <laughs> what? Well, I don't know what a Raisin is. No, I've had a, no I've, you don't get to no, rebuttal. No, no, rebuttal over. My rebuttal is, so Tana's are S tier. No, they're not. I love sultanas, and then the rest oh. of the raisins I don't know. Wait, so I put it in and raisins a- are the same thing. Yeah, no? sultana is the best type of it's a raisin. Slightly different. No, oh, I googled it during. Sultana is just in underneath the category of raisin, but it's what everyone considers oh, raisin the is like best. The umbrella. Yes. Yeah. And it's oh. like berries. Sultana is considered uh, yeah. the best grape mm. to m- turn into a raisin. I see. So I had sultanas as S, and I hadn't tried the others, so I put it down to A. Okay. I used to love sultanas as a kid, didn't you? I used to have the little cardboard box and you eat them in yeah, class. Yeah, they were super mid. So good. They're like the worst part of a trail mix. The best part. PTSD from... Uh, you guys really don't like sultanas? They sultanas and shit and you don't know and you're like, no, oh, this really? cookie has sultanas. Jordan, I don't think this is that bad. I'm, I'm up on your team. I can't oh, believe this. Oh, let's go. After I heard about the atrocity, it's Are you saying that, that raisins are above... Su- okay, this is... Okay. B tier. Yeah. This is I've everything... i in front of me. You've got to realise that I've taken into account ease. Uh-huh. And sultanas are so easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything in B tier except maybe tangerine, which looks like a mandarin. Is that the same thing? No, tangerines are different. Okay. Every everything in B tier is better than raisins. 
everything. Has, has to be said, no yeah, shot. apple, strawberry, except maybe green mango, apples. watermelon, blueberry. Fucking no shot. Blueberries you know, in B. You know they're a superfood <laughs> and they're fucking delicious. Here we go. Zach cannot hear blueberries without mentioning they're a superfood. No, you know why Jordan's put it in B. This is the exact reason. Because he's a I'm, dumb idiot. Uh, no, I'm in Jordan's head because <laughs> about a month ago, he had to buy blueberries for an underdog's video and he paid $13 for it. That was, that was me. You've, you've screwed it up. You fucked Dude, his you up. Your you mind have. keeps getting blind. Wrong attack. Wrong attack. No, Friendly I, fire. <laughs> he's on your team. I thought Jordan would say that like because they are not always in season, I, that's low ease. No, I didn't, I didn't take into account that. I just thought they don't taste that good. You are fucked. <laughs> okay, um, my <laughs> second major discrepancy. Yeah, lime below lemon. Lime in D tier. I think limes when are just better lemons. Lime, lime in makes lots never of cooking. Have a lime. I think lemon's better than lime. Really? Lime, lime makes so okay. many drinks better. I never have drinks. I just drink water. But when I have some fish and chips, I would put it, the lemon adds more taste than the lime. Yeah. Okay. I'm never gonna just eat either, and the lemon adds a bit more. I will. I will <laughs> accept this opinion. That's fair enough. I think the lime is great in cooking more than anything. So uh, that's why see, I, like I keep it simple. Holy cooking family, though, and then so like drinks and lemon. cocktails, or like add a, add a lime to like a ginger beer. And Delicious. my final problem: Why have you not tried anything? Yeah, that was that was going to be my only complaint. Well, like there, are, mom, there are a know. few in there that I also haven't tried, but there's a lot that I thought there's everyone had tried. Serious? What's going on with kiwi? Why haven't you tried kiwi? Surely this is a parent situation. Maybe Jordan, you're an adult. You don't live with your parents. Also, yeah, but when would you buy a okay situation? There's an apple and a kiwi. When do you ever get the kiwi? Often. Often. Never. Yeah, I prefer kiwis over apples. Um, well, I've never tried this. <laughs> this. This is like obviously a bit different, but like I went to get a bubble tea at this music festival and there were like all these flavors that I knew. And then I was like, oh, pomegranate. I'll try that. I don't really know what pomegranate tastes like. I know it's not the actual fruit. Yeah. But like, no, I do like you, doing you never that, get mixing like, it up. No, you, you don't. You don't. But not with fruit. You've never had a plum. Yeah, plum is one of... Like, that'd be S tier for me. Which it's hard to think of these... Because, okay, this is how I do you've shopping. You've never had passion fruit. Okay, but how Rock you... melon or honeydew yeah, melon? Yeah, rock melon's crazy. You've never had rock melon. Oh, no, no, no that's, that's actually correct. Jordan found the best melon and stuck to it. No, Didn't I might have others. tasted a rock melon and hated it. I'd take it back. What that can go in bottom fruit? tier. It's on, like, every pavlova. Well, I've, I wouldn't count that as trying, if that makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm the only upset about... Upset, it's your opinion, but... About you not trying some of those, so many fruits. I should try some more fruits, but this is how I go shopping. Right. B banana. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. Oh, click is his that, sorry, is that your, is sorry, that your brain sorry, or is no. that what's that, how's that working? <laughs> no, it's an online order. Do you say order. that out loud to Holly? No. You go B sorry. banana. Sorry. I want banana Holly. No, 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 I'm still on Jordan's side. This podcast. He means he types in <laughs> no. B to get bananas <laughs> when he does his online order. Right? So bad for the audio. Podcast. Yeah, B <laughs> banana. What <laughs> the fuck are you trying to say? Okay. Yeah. For those watching, I did a typing animation. Oh, I. Should should have said I type it in I think I think oh I need fruit and then I type it you can't type yeah. something you don't know That's, I'm just picturing <laughs> Jordan walking through this A apple B banana C I what comes after C I give up that I'm banana B A to S tier fucking idiot now, um, I, now I think about it, B for banana is the, the top fruit. And then next to it is A avocado. You think banana yeah. is the top fruit? No, no. It is on Jordan's oh, list. Thank fuck. That is that my number one issue. It's a more of a personal issue. Banana as the number one. Of course, fruit. it's the best. Yeah. It's the best. I've also, had every of day. It's a personal issue. You know what this is, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, know, I, I know have banana like issue. every day. Put it in a shake. So eat it I won't raw, give you too much hate put it for in that. Your backpack. I've, I've heard bananas can be healthy. Avocado in S, great choice. Yeah, Grapes are good. Pineapple in A, very nice as well, Jordan. <laughs> Love but pineapple. then some of the berries are just, just too low. I'm yeah, not a, a berry of, man. A lot I'm of underrated ones man. down there. So much. Right. They're awkward. How have you not had a raspberry? Yeah, that's great. When do you eat raspberry? All this, the time. It's not the worst. I would put strawberry and blueberry up and I'd put lemon and lime way up. Okay. And then it's okay. <laughs> should we do a <laughs> and should we banana content? in the bin? <laughs> yeah, I think okay, I'm going to okay. start bringing your fruits to every podcast. We're yeah, going to we have should, oh, Jordan's that would be fruit fun. reviews every fruit week. Finish prime time. So fruit now we got time. fruit magoot. More rounds of fruit. Sorry? Fruit magoot. All right, we have fruit magoot. No, I think we have fruit magoot. What do you mean what rhymes? We just got it there. <laughs> Sorry, my bad. So I would love to do that. I think trying things is very good. I think you're going to hate papaya or pawpaw, whatever Wait, you Wait, what it. about we call it fruit shoot? And we buy one of them potato guns, but we put a different fruit in and shoot it into Jordan's mouth. Sounds good. <laughs> like he doesn't get, to get a see choice. <laughs> I have to close my eyes and then guess what fruit. What it are is. you guys bringing first? 
off this list yet. I'm going to bring the most basic ones that off this list. Like, kiwi is crazy. I'm going to bring the a grapefruit. I think that people I'll don't have a, a lot of kiwis kiwi. in America. Sure. I could be wrong, but literally, so uh, Sunday, I went to brunch after frisbee training with my team mm. and I got an acai bowl. Mm. And That's it had just a bunch of fruit, right? So many fruits on it that you've never had. Yep. And I was like, Whoa. have you on your whole life? And it, it had. I mean, it was unusual. It had persimmon in it, which you never get, but it had kiwi, it had passion fruit, it had persimmon, oh, wow. it had all this stuff. And I'm like, John has never had any of these. And I'm I've like, never had an acai bowl. Yeah, I mean, you don't, they're pretty weird, but you know, jo- come on, man. You got to say, I ate apples, I ate lots of apples. Uh, you should be putting them in your protein shakes. They're full of mm. carbohydrates. Asian yeah. pear, by the way, I call them Nashi pears. Also they are of, so good. Yeah, they're very, very good. They're great. I work in I'll try produce. Them. I'm uh, down fruit to try them. So I've tried, I think, nearly every fruit oh, vegetable. Like Jackson, do you think dates are so high in protein because they have. Not protein, that? I don't think. Carbohydrates. Oh, but they're don't like they a all have a dead cockroach in? What? No, dead You're thinking of figs. That's it. Yeah. Figs have the wasp larvae in them, but. No, uh, I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, figs, yeah. Are, figs are bad. Oh, I like figs. All right, fine. All right, that so you might have the best opinion then. What do you mean? Of fruit. He's tried the most. Oh, I have tried the most well-rounded, probably, yeah. just because yeah. of the way I my job is. Oh, wow. All right, that was us picking apart Jordan's fruit tier list. That was fruit shoot. Do you I, have a question this week, Jordan? I do Otherwise have I've, a question. Uh, should, should we, we finish on that? that? I don't think... It's a good one. Anyway. Yep. Don't... This is the finishing moment all of right, the podcast. All right, You know what? This is... To be fair, is it ever good? <laughs> you know Wait, let me see how long we've been going for. I think it is usually pretty good. The question? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Because Jordan usually paraphrases it with like, this is a good one this week or this is a bad one this week. And I, I've, I've never, never seen a correlation between if it's actually good <laughs> uh, or yeah, bad sure. with what he says. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't really know if there's All right. any difference. Do we get the theme song? Oh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> it's the Follow One Question of the Week. Why don't we just kill yeah. every animal that could kill us? We need to stop this podcast. <laughs> and then we're good. Yeah, good idea. Okay. Great. So which, and okay, where do you draw the line? Yeah, the dogs the, can kill us. Give me the exact animal, the the one that is we don't kill, and the one that we do. The line drawn. The line is drawn. So at like, <sighs> I love these things where it's like a very <laughs> could be yeah. anything. Okay. You can draw it. So <laughs> very specific. And we'll I think I've seen a it. poster of this about um, Peter being like, "Why like, are you eating? Where are you drawn?" Anyway, Jordan, do do, do dogs stay? Dogs can kill us. Um, pff, wolves can go. Dogs can stay. So um, that could so, be the okay, line so right there. Is, is dog dog peak? Because dogs, we can kill them on average way easier. So what about cows? Oh, so it's animals you could beat in a fight. That's what we, I'm saying. We, we want us out. to because the problem with humans is we're so smart and we're a bunch of mush. But what if we were just still the strongest animal and the smartest? So, then yeah, we'd like be so what, good. If I go camping, why do I have to worry about bears? A bear and I a should tiger only be worried about other humans. Don't you think humans are already completely dominating the planet? Uh, we not, don't in some, not in Africa. No, but it's like if you go... They, they still are. No, but they get scared of lions. No, Jackson, I think Jordan means like so that we can go into the wilderness and just you go not camping worry about and dying. Chill. So spiders gone? Spiders can be gone, yeah. No. Depends on the spider. Depends on the spider. Yeah, friendly spiders stay. Daddy long legs. Actually, chill. I think spiders are fine. Yeah, keep the spiders. Like funnel webs though, because we can step on them, but mm. they can bite us. No one dies to a spider, really. No, nah, get the get the get spider sharks bites out of here. What sharks have to go. Crocodiles have to go. We can one v one snakes pretty easy, but they can also no kill us. No shot. I could not one v one a snake. You, if you just stepped on its head, it would die. I don't think. I, but it's so quick. Yeah. No. Nah, I say get rid of snakes because get rid just, of snakes. Get rid of snakes. What are they adding? They're only subtracting from my like walks. Well, see, in, the problem walks in the bush. Kill them all. Look out for snakes. Burn or I could earth. just enjoy myself. What What do you have to say? To, like you know, when we get rid of snakes, for example, there's going to be a billion mice on the planet now because they That's do a good awesome. job. Now you go out into the wilderness. There's a bunch of deer. That's not awesome. They're going to be in your house, prancing around. Do you like rats in your house? Mice. No, but we can kill them. That's the whole point. We got mice traps. The sailors will go out the roof. Oh, sorry, mouse traps. You know, see, I don't really replace think my the head. snakes with mouse traps. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Wait, better idea: snake traps. Oh, oh. both problems Smart. solved. <laughs> Smart. We, we just get a trap for everything. We have the uh, the lion trap but and the, the snake trap. The world will be trap. better for us if we're the strongest. I think yeah, the world's already more. more than good enough for the humans. I think we've got quite a good. Don't run you of get it. scared though? Not really. Say that to someone who gets eaten by a tiger, huh? Yeah. I can't say anything. If you go to yeah. Africa, yeah. So. But yeah, we need a little a bit, bit of scary. population control. Like, so do you not think? People are scared of sharks. But yeah. I think in Australia, we Get almost have this down. What do you mean? There's we got rid of the Tasmanian tigers. There's almost nothing in Australia that kills you on land. 
Australia Jordan. has a reputation for having lots of things that can kill yeah, you. Yeah, I there. think nah. we no. I think you nah. might just not have lived anywhere else. Nah. I I think a bear is way more scary than a fucking Here, snake. What Here's about a saltwater crocodile? I said on land. On yeah, land. They can land. walk. They have feet. We'll keep yeah. them in the water. Did you? Go- <laughs> <laughs> There's a few rules. So you're either dead or you have to stay in the water. True. Well, we in places like Queensland the with the, the mangroves, like you actually need to be careful if you're like near the shore. Like crocodiles are just exactly. That's fucking terrifying. Kill them. We we'll yeah. just stay away from that. But you were just or saying that them. we didn't have that. In in I Australia. said on in Australia inland, we're pretty good. And what it's about nice. the snakes? And we have you venom- go there and you're scared. We have nine out of the ten most venomous snakes in the world. Jordan, Australia is not the safe one, but that is probably why you've come up with killing the animals. Okay, yeah, maybe. Did you guys know that New Zealand just doesn't have any predators? Interesting. Like yeah. predator animals? It's just all, they're all just And chill. they love it. I'm actually must be so dead. <laughs> 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 anyway, it's probably nice there. It's probably nice. Yeah, well, no, it sheep. is. It, you feel very chill. It's like when exactly. you see a bird, it's like a pudgy little uh, Kia bird. Is that what they're called? Kiwi. Kiwi. Go. So we should all be New Zealand. Someone from the chat says, I feel like this is what happened with China. They killed all the sparrows and bugs literally ate all their crops. How do you respond, Jordan? Yeah, but then just have a bug trap. Yeah, just get used to it. Jackson, keep up. Right. You- <laughs> New Zealand, they figured it out, apparently. What do you mean? No, New that, Zealand it was already it like that. But for, for no, nah, because they were all together and then they went... And oh, broke okay, away. yeah, right. So you just give it some time. Yeah. Everyone moves away from China, let the bugs figure it True. out, and then come back so later. So do we need to kill humans that are going to kill you? Or where are they staying? <sighs> then that's what Death Note's all about. Is it? Has anyone seen that? No, I haven't. Okay, well, that felt So flat. what's the premise? That um, Nah, take it back. Don't worry. It's just because I watched the anime recently. Yeah. Death Note. Should right. we talk? No one cares about yeah, that. Yeah, no, no, I don't came care. Out so okay. long ago. Jordan's right on this one. I was yeah. more wondering, like, what is the premise you're talking about? Well, Death Note's... Oh, shit. Wait, you might have got me here. Death Note is crazy. Yeah. Spoilers. He gets a book. Can kill anyone you write in it. So yeah. So he's like, I'm going to save the world. I'm going to kill all the bad guys. Yeah. And then new bad and guys then, rise up. No, he kind of is now the bad guy. Uh, sure. So maybe So that's sort of like... Me. Well, uh, yeah, so uh, animals... Like, Peter would probably kill you in a fight. Or maybe he wouldn't. Let's say he can, right? Yeah. Is Peter dead now? No, I'm saying let's just let humans be the best. Yeah, but then we are also the bad guys. Exactly, but we're them, so it's fine. Yeah, that's true. But yeah. history is written by the victors. I, I want to hear. We are him. <laughs> what What I want to hear is like, like if which what made you think of this? Like, like what are the animals you're most focused on? Give me your top five. Okay, well, yeah. my, what's your hit list? No, yeah, like, go. What are the What are the animals that add the least? Just nothing, because I'm I'm gonna say fucking like box jellyfish. Yep. Like, little jellyfish, be mm. careful. If you touch them, you fucking die if you don't get to a hospital. What are they adding? It's a little piece of shit jelly. Yeah, well, I just know in Africa it's scary. No, but, like, killed. lions are cool as shit. So we're losing something if we get rid of lions. Jellyfish pretty cool, I reckon. <laughs> oh, God. All right, so... <laughs> any, any, of you guys, any of you guys have an animal that just only subtracts from uh, society? Jellyfish is jellyfish. definitely up there for me. That's a good call. Yeah, what what are your other? How does everyone agree with you? <laughs> what did you do then? <laughs> That's what I want to happen to me. You know, Jordan, we're, we're on the same team. Oh yeah, we are. On the same I, team. I backed you up with the bug traps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm on your team. Mosquito, that could be a good one. Yeah, in the chat. Malaria and all they do is make you itchy. What do mosquitoes add to anything? They pollinate flowers. Nah, but we got bees for that. I didn't know that. Yeah, you know mosquitoes only bite you when they're pregnant females and they use the stuff to make the eggs. The rest of the time, they just eat nectar. They need like the protein. Yeah. Peter, shut up. We get rid of mosquitoes. (laughs) Mosquito traps. We replace them with bees. Yeah, They pollinate stuff and bees bees. are chill. Zach, you hate bees. Yeah, but bees are chill and I understand that. No, you don't think they're chill. This is lying. No, but I am not the entire planet. Bees are good for everyone. That's very big of him. Rare humble moment. That's that a very humble moment. Humble. You, Zach. Hornets can get fucked. Though. Yeah, <laughs> hornets, wasps. Seriously, what do hornets do? Yeah, so hornets, wasps, jellyfish. The murder hornets, they can go. Yeah, okay. Get the sparrows back to chomp down down on them. Yeah. Crocodiles, they're too OP. They're yeah, probably the like, strongest thing. They're the most fucked animal. But they're so dope. Exactly. So you know, I feel scary. like we're losing a lot of interesting things in the world. With yeah. Your Would you rather be interested or alive? I'm exactly. fine and I'm interested. But well, why is it interesting? I don't think Jackson's getting eaten by a crocodile There's lots anytime of inter- soon. Oh, that's going to age really poorly when Jackson gets eaten by a crocodile yeah, next week. Well, I really hope that it doesn't. doesn't. This clip's going to play at my funeral. No, 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 and no, no, you're no. going to be answering some questions. <laughs> You'll get over it though. You don't care about m- missing out on the Tyrannosaurus. I, I do. Would love I that. do you care about You that. want the Tyrannosaurus to be oh, here. We would have definitely hunted them to extinction if we lived in Tyrannosaurus land. Okay, you don't miss the Flubadoo. 
Because I, 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 I made it up. I made it up. I made it up. You don't know it exists. So if the crocodiles don't exist. exist. Was it Flubidoo traps? Yeah, Flubidoo traps. <laughs> so so if they okay. don't exist, you can't miss them. Yeah, so let's say we kill all the lions and then I watch a really cool movie where Childish Gambino voices a Band creature them. I've never seen before. Which is now like the bee king or something because we don't have any tigers or lions. No, it's or... like they, they, it's the Flubidoo. They have the to Flubidoo come up with king. a new name. Oh, Flubidoo king sounds good. Now it's yeah. a fictional creature like a dragon. Yeah, yeah. and that's still cool. It's, and the song Be Prepared is just about Jordan where he's going to eliminate species. I'm going to make this movie. <laughs> Be Prepared. Oh. Be Prepared. <laughs> Be Prepared, yeah. For the bee king. It's the fucking straight line of life. Not the circle. Because <laughs> it gets extinct. It's, it's just humans. Yeah, if you're this uh, OP, you're dead. So yeah, like, exactly. Literally, because you're, you're, you're talking about getting rid of the circle of life when J- Jackson was saying, like, we're going to get too many rats now. Yeah. A giga Chad TJK in the chat's come up with a good point. He said, get rid of the deer so I don't have to hit them on the road. Is anything that can kill you by you running into them going to go? <laughs> yeah, so are the kangaroos actually, copping Probably, it? they nah, might. Kangaroos are cool. <laughs> like moose. Oh, shit. What have we got deer? left, by the way? Oh, What's no. What's staying? Just Maybe that's does. more interesting. Apparently dogs are staying dogs even are though. Because Jordan has one. Oh, Jordan yeah, I've seen them. someone get killed by ants in Indiana Jones. Do ants have to cop oh, it? Oh, no, no. That's too far, Zach. <laughs> Don't shit. ask Jordan that. The world's so dangerous. Staying? What's, what's the five Maybe animals we got left? Maybe it's just humans. So oh, we just have humans oh, left. That's not good. Oh, dear. You know what? And I reckon get rid of plants because like poison ivy is a bit... So- and some people are allergic to other plants. <laughs> so we might get rid of those two. I get a bit itchy if I lie on grass for too long. Can we get rid of that? I'm at, some some people are depressed and they commit suicide, so we should kill them before oh, they can kill the Yeah, <laughs> If you're depressed, you got to go. I've never had a kiwi fruit before. Can we get rid of them? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some people are allergic to kiwis, so they got to go. And I heard limes are DT, so they got to go. Yeah, yeah. they got to go. Okay, at least get rid of the big predators. Keep everything else. No, nah, it's at just, least like, he would be the strongest, coolest and fucking thing. Bee bananas. No, I think it's just Jordan that's oh, going to be left. You know what? You've got me. And bananas. I'll give it up. Jordan bananas. <laughs> And and ants. Is this because I, <laughs> I was watching our planet? Oh, this is fucked. Yeah. Anyway, should we end it?